last year you're two for two at Pimlico now. You're the leading percentage jockey at the meet. <laughs> Did you? What did you learn from riding yesterday at Pimlico about the track? Uh, it was a little bit of a longer stretch, but uh, besides that, like uh, I think the turns are the same style as uh, Kentucky. So yeah, I think it's just uh, a little bit longer in the stretch. And that's all I can tell. The track was was fine yesterday, so uh, you know we will have to see how it was to play tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Was that important to you to ride some before uh, the Preakness? It was important for me to get on a horse, that's for sure. Like, uh, I wanted to choose to get a field of the track. And, and so, yeah. What's it always helps a little bit to ride one or two before the big day. Have you uh, outlined with Doug a strategy for the race tomorrow? <laughs> Everybody has the same question. I will talk about it. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. Don't want, don't want to tip your hand. <laughs> Well, so what's it been like for you since you won the Derby? Well, look, all of you guys want to talk to me now. <laughs> uh, before, I was just walking at the barn like with no attention. You went back to Hastings for a, a day. What was that like coming back to I went there for three days, so yeah. it, was, it was awesome. I, I really wanted to be there. I feel like I, I feel like I'm home when I'm in Vancouver, so I really wanted to see, go, go back and see those people. They're really important in my life, and I think I own them a lot. And thanks to them, I, I'm, I'm, I was in California this year, last year. So um, I, I just wanted to go with the people that I felt comfortable with. Did you still have a house or an apartment there in Vancouver? Like a place to I live? still have my own. I live with uh, Glenn Todd and Troy Taylor. It's mm -hmm. the same bed, my same room. I always have a house there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you live at, in, in Southern California? Do you have an apartment in near Santa Anita? Or, or? I live a, kind of like in a hotel thing. And mm -hmm. uh, so I buy Arcadia Santa Anita. Yeah. I mean, is there a moral here that, given the opportunity, there's a lot of people that can get the job done, but they just never get the opportunity to well, yeah, like show what they can do well, on the big stage? Well, there is a lot of writers. It happens to me. Like, a couple of months ago, like like I said, like I was just, just a regular rider, just trying to break the North America uh, horse racing or uh, California circuit. But uh, now, look, uh, all of you guys, I bet it, but <laughs> I was no, it's just, it feels okay, it feels good, I, but I don't want anything to bother me. I like my main focus is on the horse, he deserves uh, me to be 100% for tomorrow. And, uh, have to put all these by the side. Can you talk about I'll have another and the characteristics that make him the horse he is, what it is about him that makes him? He's a great horse. He's just a great horse. Is it something with his stride? What's his stride feel like when you're on him? He's just a great horse. His stride is different than any other 